Monday, September 16th, 2024, afternoon edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated News Digest video. Good afternoon, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News AGNDD and Tele Report. We're excited to have you with us here. I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in scraping the web for the latest stories and interesting topics and summarizing them for you. And now, headlines of the day. Opinion, best AI regulation may be none. Suspect and Trump plot had prior legal issues. Women remain underrepresented in local government. iOS 18. Key details and hidden features and much more. But first, this day in history. September 16th in history. September 16th, 681. Pope Honorius I is posthumously excommunicated by the Sixth Ecumenical Council. September 16th, 1996. Space Shuttle Atlantis is launched on STS-79 to dock to the Russian space station Mir. Famous people born on this day. September 16, 1955. Robin Yount, American baseball player and coach. Merv Boluger, born September 16, 1987, is a Turkish actress known for roles in Asemikadi, Kukuk Serlar, Kuze Guni, and Mutesem Yuzil. She married and divorced Murat Dalkilik and DJ Mert Aden. Today's trending Google searches. Trump, Cowboys, Chiefs. Baby Reindeer, Detroit Lions, Raiders versus Ravens. 49 Ears versus Vikings, Colts versus Packers, Jets versus Titans. Today's trivia questions. Who's the creator of Geometry Dash? The choices are Scott Cawthon, Adam Engels, Andrew Spinks, Robert Topala. Now take a second to think about it. Who's the creator of Geometry Dash? Okay, got it? Ready? Robert Topala. Which of these songs is not in the Beatles album Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band? The choices are Getting Better, Fixing a Hole, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, Strawberry Fields Forever. Now take a second to think about it. Which of these songs is not in the Beatles album Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band? Okay, got it? Ready? Strawberry Fields Forever. And now on to today's news. General News. Investigation into the death of nearly 1,100 Sligo wild salmon finds no specific cause. An investigative report by Inland Fisheries Ireland suggests that gill damaging phytoplankton may have contributed to the deaths of nearly 1,100 wild Atlantic salmon in County Sligo's Ballasodare River. No specific pollution event was identified. Tile introduces its first new Bluetooth trackers in years. iOS 18, all the little details and hidden features you won't want to miss. Apple's iOS 18 introduces major features like home screen customization, a new control center, RCS support, and a revamped photos app. Smaller updates include enhanced call search, keypad search, satellite messaging, lock screen shortcuts, topographical maps, and calculator app improvements. Business news. Zoom for government platform expands with Zoom AI Companion receives FedRAMP jab authorization. Zoom's AI Companion has been authorized by the FedRAMP Joint Authorization Board as a jab moderate system, enhancing Zoom for government services. Suspect and apparent Trump assassination attempt had previous run-ins with the law. Ryan Wesley Routh, age 58, was charged with firearm possession as a convicted felon following an alleged assassination attempt on former President Trump. He has a criminal history and has shown support for Ukraine. He has had shifting political affiliations, recently supporting Democrats. 
Operator of Glasnevin Crematorium reports a rise in profits and expects a significant increase in demand for its services as the population ages. Glasnevin Crematorium Limited reported an 11% profit increase to 1.22 million euros, driven by an 18% revenue rise to 3.87 million euros, due to heightened cremation demand. The company is preparing for future demand growth, particularly in the greater Dublin area. Technology news. The best way to regulate artificial intelligence might be not to specifically regulate artificial intelligence. The article discusses the benefits and risks of artificial intelligence. It suggests that existing regulations can address most issues. The article advises against new AI-specific laws and emphasizes enhancing current rules. It also highlights the importance of leveraging Australia's strong regulatory bodies and aligning with international standards for effective AI governance. Best Buy cut the price of this LG OLED TV from $1,500 to $750. Best Buy is offering the LG 48-inch B4 OLED TV at 50% off, reducing its price from $1,500 to $750. The TV features self-lit pixels, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, NVIDIA G-Sync, and AMD FreeSync Premium support. Today's obituaries. Paul André Cadieux, born June 25, 1947, is a former professional ice hockey defenseman, coach and sports director. He won three NLA championships with SC Bern and is the father of ice hockey player Jean Cadieux. Sardar Mir Safraz Chakar Khan Domki a prominent Pakistani politician and chief of the Domki tribe, served in various ministerial roles in Balochistan from 2013 to 2023. He passed away on September 16, 2024, at the age of 55. Anwar Jassam, born in 1947 and passed away in 2024, was an Iraqi football manager. He led al Zawra to an Iraqi league title and five Iraq FA Cup titles, the most in the competition's history. He died at the age of 77. Istvan Juhas can refer to three different individuals from Hungary. The first is a football midfielder born in 1945 and passed away in 2024. The second is a boxer born in 1931. The third is a mathematician, born in 1943. Gary Shaw, aged 63, an English footballer who played for Aston Villa, Keobenhaven's Bold Club and Shrewsbury Town, passed away due to complications from a fall. Anthony Wilfred James Whitford, born in 1941, served as Commissioner of the North West Territories from 2005 to 2010. He was elected to the NWT Legislative Assembly in 1988 and held various roles, including Speaker. Whitford lives in Yellowknife and enjoys woodworking. Alexander Barishnikov, a Soviet shot putter, won Olympic bronze in 1976 and silver in 1980. He trained at Dynamo Leningrad and was also awarded the Order of the Badge of Honour. Leonid Bolaka, age 85. Ukrainian cinematographer known for faithfulness and the meeting place cannot be changed. Tito Jackson, an original member of the Jackson 5, embarked on a solo blues career in 2003. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and had solo success with Get It Baby in 2016. Jackson passed away at 70 from a heart attack. Kostas Karousakis, age 81, Greek folk singer. Dinos Karidis, aged 85, a Greek actor known for dancing the sitaki and my daughter the socialist. Elias Kauri, born in 1948 and passed away in 2024, was a Lebanese novelist and public intellectual. He was known for his award-winning works such as Gate of the Sun, Kauri edited Al-Mulhaq and taught at various universities. 
His literature frequently addressed Palestinian experiences and utilised innovative narrative techniques, blending modern standard and colloquial Arabic. Basil Harry Loston, born in 1930, passed away in 2024. He was the Bishop Emeritus of the Ukrainian Catholic Diocese of Stamford, Connecticut. Loston was educated in Philadelphia and Stamford and served in various roles before becoming bishop in 1977. He retired in 2006 and was succeeded by Paul Chomnicki. Loston died at the age of 94. Roly Mossiman, born in 1955, was a Swiss-born American drummer, electronic musician and record producer. He was known for his work with bands like Swans and Wiseblood and for producing albums for artists such as Faith No More, Skinny Puppy and Marilyn Manson. Mosiman passed away from lung cancer at the age of 68 in 2024. Cello Motlung, born in 1969 and passed away in 2024, was a renowned South African actor. He was famous for his roles in TV series such as Backstage, Mamello and Ring of Lies. His career spanned cinema, television and theatre, where he delivered notable performances and received multiple award nominations. He continued acting until his passing at the age of 54. Georg Multescu was a Romanian football player and manager, known for his time at Jules Petrosani and Dinamo Bucharesti, where he won multiple titles. He later managed various clubs and earned the nickname Smyrdle for rescuing struggling teams. Multescu passed away at the age of 72 on September 15, 2024. Valentin Samungi, a Romanian handball player, won the 1970 world title and a bronze medal at the 1972 Olympics. He played for CSS and Dynamo Bucharest, later coached national teams and held various administrative roles in sports. He passed away at the age of 82 on September 15, 2024. All other people who have died today or yesterday, may they rest peacefully and may God have mercy on their souls. Health news. Women are still underrepresented in local government, despite a woman running for president. Kamala Harris's presidential candidacy highlights ongoing gender disparities in local political offices, where women remain underrepresented. Research shows that women hold fewer city and county positions, except on school boards, affecting policy representation. Thomas Red announces the 2025 Better in Boots Tour. Get your tickets today. Thomas Rett announced his Better in Boots Tour for summer 2025 across North America with stops in New York and New Jersey. Tickets are available via Vivid Seats. Rett also released his seventh album titled About a Woman. Entertainment news. Warning, spoilers leaked for Moana 2, major plot twist revealed. In Moana 2, Dwayne Johnson's character Maui learns to embrace vulnerability by confronting internal struggles and a new antagonist named Matangi. Johnson parallels Maui's journey with his own experiences, highlighting the strength in asking for help. The movie is set to release on November 27, 2024. Tito Jackson, member of the Jackson 5 and Rock Hall of Famer, dies at age 70. Tito Jackson, member of the Jackson 5, has died at age 70. Known for hits like I Want You Back, the group was pivotal in Motown's success. Tito focused on family and later released solo work. And now a couple of dad jokes for you. I have the heart of a lion and a lifetime ban from the San Diego Zoo. Why does a moon rock taste better than an earth rock? Because it's a little meatier. Thank you for watching this AGN, DD, and Telereport, dear viewers. Like, yeah, subscribe. And click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers!